The research I am presenting is on apixaban versus warfarin and the treatment of venous thromboembolism in morbidly obese patients. So a little bit of background, direct oral anticoagulants or DOACs have become increasingly popular choices for the treatment of venous thromboembolism or VTEs in the past decade. The DOACs offer many advantages over warfarin, including a lower incidence of bleeding, the ease of fixed dosing, and a lack of routine monitoring requirements. The 2016 CHESS guidelines on the treatment of VTE actually recommend DOACs as first-line options over warfarin. However, few studies have evaluated the efficacy of DOACs in morbidly obese patients. The AMPLIFY trial is the first trial listed in the table compared apixaban to anoxaparin and warfarin for the treatment of VTE. They found that apixaban was not inferior to warfarin in preventing recurrent VTEs and showed significantly less bleeding. However, only a small percentage of those patients fit into the morbidly obese category. A pharmacokinetic study was done where they gave healthy individuals a single 10 milligram dose of apixaban and compared the obese patients to non-obese patients. They found a lower AUC and Cmax in the obese patients as compared to the non-obese patients. This is significant because a similar study was done with rivaroxaban, and they found no difference in the pharmacokinetic profile between obese and non-obese patients with that medication. There was a study done which compared rivaroxaban to warfarin for VTE treatment and stroke prevention, and they found that rivaroxaban trended towards a lower incidence of clinical failure. However, their study was not statistically significant. Therefore, the purpose of my study is to evaluate the effectiveness of apixaban compared to warfarin in the treatment of VTE in morbidly obese patients. I'll be including adult patients who have a BMI of at least 40 kilograms per meter squared or a total body weight of at least 120 kilograms. They have to have a new diagnosis of a VTE and have to have received apixaban or warfarin. I'll be excluding patients who previously received apixaban or warfarin, patients who have a mechanical heart valve, or have a creatinine clearance of less than 25. This study will be a single center retrospective chart review. I'll be looking at patients who were initiated on therapy between February 2018 and February 2020. I'll follow those patients for a year, and I'm collecting the data between November 2020 and February 2021. I'll be collecting basic demographic information, information about comorbid conditions, social history, baseline labs, the drug dose and frequency they were prescribed, pertinent concomitant medications, and mortality. My primary outcome is venous thromboembolism recurrence within 12 months. My secondary endpoints are going to look at a pulmonary embolism in the first 12 months or a DVT in the first 12 months. Major bleeding or clinically relevant minor bleeding is defined by the ISTH criteria, mortality, and switch to another anticoagulant. All of my data will be analyzed using a chi-square test. Um, the statistical significance will be defined at p less than 0.05. The outcomes of this study will provide information on whether apixaban is effective alternative to warfarin in the morbidly obese population. The information will be passed along to providers at self-regional healthcare and can potentially influence prescribing patterns.